and I'm here for the Knockouts World Championship. What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoon's Delight. Let's talk about it, man. This is probably... Man, I can't remember a bigger debut on the knockout side ever in Impact Wrestling. Uh, I'm trying to remember one. We've had some big male debuts, but I, I don't know. And I'm trying to go back to the TNA days if we had one that was bigger than this. I mean, that the way they were pumping this up, the media coverage for it. I mean, it's Naomi. You know what I'm saying? It's Naomi, bro. You know, a lot of people been missing Naomi for it. She's been gone for a year. Uh, her and Sasha Banks, Monet, Mercedes Monet, and a lot of people been wanting to see her, man. But I'm actually glad she did not crawl her way back to the WWE because it would have been easy for her to do that. I mean, her husband's still in the WWE, so it would have been easy for her to just crawl back to the WWE. But I'm glad she kept her word along with along with Mercedes Monet. Um, and I know like some people who are like, see, like me, man, I'm not like. I'm not this, like, uh, super WWE fan. Like, I'm not a super... I cover it, and I like watching it. I'm not a super WWE guy, though. And for me, when someone wants to go outside the company and, and explore other options, I support it every single time. You know, because the WWE isn't everything. Yeah, it's the biggest company, but it's not everything. And I think for me with Trinity, who's Naomi, uh, who was Naomi, for me, this is a really good start for her because, and I liked how she named off names that were uh, in the WWE. A Gail Kim, you know what I mean, who made their name over here. Uh, I don't think she named Vic Victoria, but Victoria's another one that's had a lot of success and impact. Uh, Mickey James, obviously, being one of the bigger ones right now. And now Deanna Perrazzo. De De Deanna Perrazzo, who I think right now might be the best female wrestler in the world right now I, I i really do at least on the main three promotions i think she's the best i think Rhea's on her back Rhea, Rhea ripley's on her back but i think in the in the three main companies she might be the best right now diana perrazzo a three-time champion she's becoming very decorated and she made the very smart career choice to stay in impact you know um and it's funny though we're gonna talk about this in the next video when jordan grace and diana came out but it's funny because Trinity actually mentioned in, uh, when she was talking to Deanna when she came out how she got fired. And it was kind of hilarious looking back on it. But we're going to talk about more about that in the next video. But it to me, Trinity made a great choice. You know what I mean? I think she did all she could do in the WWE. I think she knows she was worth more than being in the tag team division. Um, and I, I respect her decision. I know a lot of people thought that she just followed Sasha out the door, but I really think Naomi is a grown woman and she made her choice to to explore other options. And, and if Naomi was really a follower, I think she would have went back to the WWE. She, she would have went back or she would have went to New Japan with Mercedes Monet. But she did her own thing, skipped AEW and went straight into Impact. And that's always the better choice to me because... Right now, man, I know Impact doesn't have the TV coverage that uh, uh, AEW has, but it's the much better women's division. Like by far, it's the the knockouts. The knockouts division is becoming iconic. Is 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 like I don't even think the WWE's division is on the level right now that the knockouts division the last twenty years has been on. Like it is the place to go if you're a female wrestler right now. It is the it's, it is it's really becoming a place to go to really submit your name, because I was um I was I remember watching somebody's channel I think it was like two or three months ago I can't remember who it was. And the guy was like, if you don't win a world title in the knockouts division, you're not that accomplished. And I thought about that like if you it's getting to the point now with the knockouts division because it's such a prestigious title right now. If you don't go do some work down there in Impact, you can't be that decorated. You can't be like Charlotte is literally like Charlotte Flair is going to literally have to go down to Impact and do a run. I'm not playing. She's literally going to have to go down to Impact and do a run. And I'm going to start setting my standards right now. If you don't go down to Impact and do a run down there and get that Impact title, I mean, to get that Knockouts title, I can't put you over. 
I, I really can't. I can't put you over as one of the best. I can't. It's just like with some people probably would do that with New Japan Pro Wrestling. You know what I mean? And I can respect that too. You know, if you don't win a World Women's Championship in New Japan. But I will, I'm not even going to count New Japan because it's not U.S. based. I'm going to count, at least I'm going to count knockout. I mean, it impacts because you got to accomplish something. And for me, Trinity is already making that step right now to potentially win a, a world title uh, in in impact. Go down there and go win a title. You know, because look at Mickey James. Mickey James, to me, is in, in my, she's in my top five right now just because of the work that she's done in impact. It's not even the work that she did in the WWE. It's the work that she did down there in impact. Because the knockouts division is tough. You got the best wrestler down there right now, Deanna Perrazzo. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, if you can't go down there and cut it, I mean, you know, what what are we talking about here? You know what I mean? So, Trinity looked amazing. She looked happy. She looked at peace. Uh, the crowd was loving her in Chicago, man. I'm glad they I'm glad they did her first promo in Chicago because Chicago's a great appreciative wrestling audience as well. So um, but I just I think that she's at peace and I think that she's ready to submit her own legacy. She's ready to not get carried by the powers that be in the WWE. She's ready to make her own mark and do her own thing. You know what I mean? And I, I think she's gonna get this title from Deanna at some point or, or, you know, whoever else is in the picture. But I can't wait to see what's, what's, what's coming for her. Um, next video, we're going to go over Deanna and Jordan uh, meeting her in the ring. So give me your thoughts on Trinity so far. I'm loving it, man. I'm looking forward to our first match. Uh, in Impact. Uh, I was just talking about how she might end up facing Alicia Edwards. Poor Alicia Edwards, man. But she just jobs to everybody, bro. And I can see her job into the uh, Trinity. <sighs> man, it's crazy, man. But I'm going ahead to get this video a like, y'all. Hit the like button for me. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this one. After news, the like.